Ahoy hoy, it's your boy Attack Slug, and once again we have a piece of mind-bogglingly stupid news related to the video game industry that I feel the need to tell you about if you haven't already heard. So apparently this Craigslist killer who claims to have killed uh, 22 people in the past 6 years had an affinity for, uh, owned and played, Dark Souls. Uh, and there was this, uh, asshat on Fox News that brought up Dark Souls and said, Oh, she had an affinity for it, and, you know, that could be why she... Look, first of all, your timeline does not compute. If she started killing six years ago, that would have been 2008. Dark Souls, it's a 2011 release. So unless she's also a time traveler, and that would be a larger problem... I'm pretty sure Dark Souls had nothing to do with it. Never mind the actual game itself, if you'd actually spend more than five minutes doing any research on Dark Souls, I'm pretty sure that dragons and giant skeletons and 50 foot tall creatures don't exist in real life. So, unless she was parrying and dodge rolling and critical hitting, wearing a suit of motherfucking armor with a sword and a shield, I'm pretty sure Video games did not train her to kill. Much like Call of Duty can't do shit to teach you how to fire a gun. It just can't. It's not... A controller is not a gun. A controller is not a sword or whatever it was that she used uh, to kill people. So unless she was writing out Prepare to Die and Praise the Sun in blood at the scene of the crime, I'm pretty sure you guys are just full of shit. Now on the flip side, this is some fantastic public relations for Dark Souls 2, and I'm sure it will boost the sales of Dark Souls 2, because everyone's going to want to find out what's the new game influencing the children! Uh, much like Doom and GTA and games of that ilk that became the boogeyman of the day. Uh, I can remember a couple years back when Mass Effect was an alien sex simulator! Because, you know, never mind, you had to spend 30 hours fostering a relationship to get a PG-13 sex scene. Uh, and no, you were just seeing the penetration! Now you weren't. So I guess we're past blaming the evils of music and Marilyn Manson for these kinds of uh, people who obviously have a severe mental imbalance and go on uh, supposed killing sprees because at this point they can't actually prove that she did anything besides the one uh, that they caught her on. But hey, if the frame rate in Blight Town is enough to make you want to kill somebody, I can certainly sympathize. And if you took that last statement seriously, I seriously feel bad for you. Dark Souls makes you worship the devil! Ooh, think of the children! More like, think of the dragons, man. You kill so many fucking dragons, I feel bad for the dragons. They're just minding their own damn business, guarding their gold and their castles. Think of the dragons. Oh wait, dragons aren't real! Spoiler! Even if you wanted to say, oh, well, maybe it was Demon Souls. Well, guess what? If she started killing in 08, Demon Souls came out in 09. I guess that really fucked up her character tendency now, didn't it? But at the end of the day, all you really need to know is one thing. Dark Souls 2 is out March 11th for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Praise the sun. Umbasa!